summary. Here are a few examples. I'm going to define a variable called students underline count and setting it to a thousand. When we run this program, Python interpreter will allocate some memory and store this number thousand in that memory space. Then it will have this variable reference that memory location. So this variable is just like a label for that memory location. We can use this variable or this label anywhere in our program to get access to that memory location and the data stored there. So now if we print students count and run our program, we will get the number 1000. So this is the basic of variables. Now, what kind of data can we store in computer's memory? Well, we have several different kinds of data. In this section, we're going to look at the built-in primitive types in Python. Primitive types can be numbers, booleans, and strings. Let me show you. So here we have a whole number. We refer to this as an integer in programming. We can also have numbers with a decimal point. Let's take a look. So rating, we set this to 4.99. This is what we call a float or a floating point number. And this terminology is not specific to Python. In the future, when you learn a new programming language, you're going to hear these terms again. Now let's take a look at an example of a Boolean. Is published, we set this to true or false. These are examples of Boolean values in programming. So Boolean values can either be true or false, and these are exactly like yes and no in English. Later in the course, you will learn that we'll use these Boolean values to make decisions in our programs. For example, if the user is an admin user, perhaps we want to give them extra permissions. So these are the Boolean values. Now take into account that Python is a case sensitive language, which means lowercase and uppercase characters have different meanings. So Boolean values should always start with a capital letter, like what you see here. If we type false or false, these are not accepted Boolean values in Python. Only what you see here is a valid Boolean value. So false or true. And finally, let's take a look at an example of a string. So course underline name, we set this to a string like Python programming. So a string, as I told you before, is like text. Whenever you want to work with text in your programs, you need to surround your text with quotes. So these are the basics of variables.